Hello, hello. Welcome back to Wheel of Games. We're going to be hopefully finishing out Shogunners. Last few episodes, I've just been trying to power through to get to the end of the game. Ah, and it looks like we've reached a puzzle section. So on the last long episode, we uh, finished the, uh, I suppose, the regularly scheduled programming of the game within a game. And... Finished off Derek Ulysses, but now we are chasing Orion Ford, the showrunner. The tower, and we got through the lobby with many, many waves of reinforcements. It looks like Mr. Ford was not nope. joking when he said this place is no mere office building. Ooh, Whatever looks those like lasers fun. were originally designed for, right now they're making big trouble for the contestants. Okay. No, we're stuck in here now. I could go that way around, but there's... No, there's doors in the way. All along. What do you do? Uh-oh! That did something, but... Can I see what it did? Uh... Oh, nothing else to do but uh, keep going down. I can't tell if there's a switch behind that. So I'm gonna run behind this and just check. The control panel is secured by a force field. Okay, so I've gotta skip down. Okay, so there's three in a row, then there's a gap. And that's when I need to make my move. Just stay between those. As long as I keep moving, I should be safe. Let's see, where am I supposed to go up? I suppose I can stop behind any one of these uh, force fields and take a look. Okay, there's our next control panel over there. Oh, as I mentioned, there's three in a row, and then there's a quick break. Was that my break? That was my break. Any other things I can reach in here? Not particularly. Looks like I've got to make this, uh... Now, if I could see exactly from a side view where my head was supposed to, uh, intersect with these deadly lasers. Okay, up against the wall. Oh wait, that's, that's all the way above me. Yeah, there's no... There's no need to even worry about it until I go up. Yeah. <laughs> Perspective, I can't get a good side view, unfortunately. So I have to be careful. Whoa. That one's open. Good thing the Omega Tower is insured against prototype laser damage. Ah, now I gotta go all the way around again. Whee. She can't access the panel with that force field in place. Sure I can, I just go exactly where I went last time, but now the other way. Let's see. Where is... Okay, yeah, it's on that side. No. Okay, I'll follow it around. Hello. As long as you're moving at the same rate, you really have nothing to fear from all that stuff. And now that one's open. Finds the magic switch! Now she just has to get back up to the top level. Hmm. Are there more lasers? Hard to tell. Doesn't really matter. We just follow up and back around again. And as all those are oh no, can't take that shortcut. Follow it around. Go up the stairs. Oh, hey, you made it perfect for me. What do we go up this like time? Let's destabilize the system, which might be a good thing for the challengers. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that one's still on, so I need to make it where? Opposite side. 
So what do we have here? A couple, two, and then three, and then one, two, three, queer. Now I wish I knew exactly where they were going to stop. <laughs> Are we through? Boom. Was an explosion, all right. That explosion must have shaken the whole tower. But the lasers are offline, and Scarlet and her teammates can proceed. Coast is clear. Let's go. Okay. Ooh, it's yellow. No need for that. That's right. Okay. High security zone. And the determined zone. contestants approach the robotics demo lab. Yep. That doesn't sound like the ultimate finale yet, so we're good to keep going. Another new enemy. Do -do 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 -do. Challenger Rampage the contestants continues. Find themselves locked in. There we are. And here are the aforementioned robots. That's the Omega 209 model, the newest battle mech designed for military use. Stunning stomp. Hey, is that our boy? <laughs> but with the actual best weapons. <laughs> Let's see. So is that essentially the same thing? Slightly different sensor package on the front. Pretty similar. Okay, so we have scattered out Cross. Looks like it's really just a run up the side. Ah, Warden's little brother, who just has more hit points and damage potential and uh, special abilities. Yep. <laughs> Easy to hit, though. One guard, Omega. Omega, Omega. They're all Omega. But these pesky guys can stun as well. Where is Phantom? Yeah, let, let's get him some extra damage against. Phantom marks the spot for all to see. And she can mostly kill him all on her own. Yep. He's got an area of effect. I don't know what the right word is. Death scream? <laughs> yeah, when he goes out, it won't be fun. Let's see. You can make somebody an easy target and then stomp... It might stun the other robot. It's not actually clear. But we want to make it easy to hit someone who would otherwise be very hard to hit. You could say the warden is an aimbot. Uh -huh. okay. Now we go stumpies all the way up to here. Stun the two of them. Hopefully. And confused. Oh, okay, can't stop the uh, robot. Which we now know. Tybalt. Ah, we've been wanting to hack things for so long. Let's see, that guy's stunned, so we should be able to get a good flank on. Let's find out what a hack hack, what, what that'll do against our real good enemy. So, make a robot attack its allies. Sounds good to me. Got this ability so long ago. <laughs> now we've got Marcus, Zoe, and Scarlet left. And they can't miss the guy over in the far end. Can you hit him? Yeah, you've already got plenty of damage to toast him. Let's see. Is that far enough away? To not take the damage. It doesn't show me the damage radius. Just everyone within range. Oh well, have to work without perfect knowledge, we'll go here. Never quite showed us what that range really was. Okay, well, Scarlet could definitely get him. 
So let's see, we've got Tackle. That guy's already stunned. Ooh, we can... We can just mess them up from the front of the map. Okay, well... Okay, good. I can get the other guy, too. So we'll run right on by everyone. Tackle! Suck You're not doing jaw. anything. Now we can snapshot across the way. Aha. Now, good. We can punch him still. So let's get our reload first. Reloaded. It's free. Okay. Now we get to smack him, and after this, we can poison the last guy. With a regular shot. And yeah, the other two are stunned or on our side. We have no chance here. We still have more people to go. Just Marcus left. I imagine that attacking him isn't going to mess with our... Uh, won't flip him back to our enemy's side. Yep, because he's hacked. That won't do me good. So, what do you want to do to your enemy? Blocking the area down. More robots incoming! Well, they're gonna get shredded. <laughs> okay, who has the excellent shots at robots? She certainly does. That explains why. That's what the electrocute rifle was for. Metal penetrating. I mean, that thing's so huge that she can destroy it regardless. So, reload first. Yeah, luring's not going to make much of a difference. But we might as well. Let's get him out in the open, and then take our shot at the last dude. Oh. Yay. Now take your obsessive over attack at him. Now he's out in the open. Prince Scarlet can have some fun. You could punch him out. Not quite punch him out. But yeah, Zoe has some extreme damage coming up as well. A moment to She's going to brutalize whoever comes out of that. Laying in wait. Probably get hit by the explosive radius. Okay, three people left. Oh, no, we also have the Warden. Okay, Warden, you've got one shot. Not in melee, he explodes, remember? If I melee hit him, that won't work out well for us either. Oh, I thought that was still on Scarlet. Ultimately, pretty much the same. Okay. Fibble. Finish him. I don't know how we're getting so bloody. No, it's just Scarlet. Interesting, can I destroy the batteries? Those generator things? Hmm. Yes, I can. Well, let's mess up the reinforcements first. Then we can focus on those batteries. You missed! She didn't. Fast forward. Oh, they're next to each other. Hey, Tibble, you got... Nope, hacks on cooldown for a little bit. You cannot body swap with the robot. <laughs> you can sabotage them, though, and they are right across from each other. Ah, but Marcus. Okay, gotta get Marcus out of the way first. 
And yeah, Marcus is a area attack. It's good for hitting both batteries, I think. Yes. Going for the batteries? That might do the trick. So that one's now at negative five. I guess it did a lot more damage than I thought. Or that's a glitch. Now that they're out of the way, Tybalt. That's not going to hit any of us either way. Sabotage. Can't trust anything when Tybalt's around. Something between Tybalt and them that they can shoot at. It looks just like Tybalt. Now our warden has to get his ammo back, and I don't think he can. Sh no, he can. But we've still got a rocket barrage, and we can hit the batteries and both robots. Because that doesn't look destroyed to me. Two for one hit. Now it does. <laughs> okay, that was like four for one. Now Phantom here could still have. Yep. Extreme advantages against them. But we should, because they're such an easy target, still have a 100% chance to hit. Yeah. So Scarlet. Ah. Uh, because they explode, I don't want to try to chain melees off of them. Oh, there we go. Because I could just hit them. I take the 10 damage, which... She's got the regen implant, and there's plenty of health around, so... Yeah. What was he thinking? Oh yeah, because he's disabled for two turns. Yeah, finish that one off. And one of the lips is down! Okay. Now, those apparently do area of effect damage, so let's move Zoe not next to it. Ah, she's got her big cone attack. She can hit both. Be careful not to hit either of us. Did you hit Tibble? Looks like those bots will just keep coming unless the contestants find a way to stop those lifts. Oh, we, we found a way. <laughs> okay. Now, Phantom. She is excellent at destroying lifts as well. Uh, no, not as much as she is at just plain killing the bots. I suppose weakness isn't back yet. So just toast the bot that's here. little bit off to the side. Let's get Scarlet out of destruction range this time. And yeah, who are we going to have her shoot at? Or rather, which battery? He's not the best at hitting those. Or destroying them, anyway. Let's see, are there any more sets of lifts? It's really just these two. And they won't get to attack the turn they show up. So let's get Tiddled over here. He might finish it off. Okay, Marcus should be able to get that. Let's see, move out here. Marcus can finish the two of those. Now our warden can finish the current robot. Off-screen explosion for who? Oh, we've been heard. Okay, Marcus. Yep, that's not going to hit either of us, and it'll finish off that lift. Another lift destroyed. No luck with that wide attack. What? what do you mean no luck? We're doing great. And now Zoe. Overwatch. 
take a shot at the things that are coming out. She's got the metal penetration. She should do great. And the beep, bots beep, beep, just beep, keep beep. on coming. Yeah. And come on. There we go. Oh, more humans. From both sides. Okay, they're not going to be satisfied. So I guess now that those have all come out, we know which one's coming out next. That was Tybalt for hacking. Neither of them is ready. We can't body swap. What about Phantom? Well, she can... It looks like just about finish off that one. Him. It didn't hit any of us with the uh, blowback. Okay, so we want to hit those guys. Well, that's definitely what Marcus is doing. Yep. Well, there we go. Okay, I think we can have our friend, the warden, no, they're immune to stomp, we found out. Rocket Barrage isn't back up yet. Easy target's not really relevant. Yeah, you could punch him. What's the best way to take out that lift before our next one shows up? Or make that Omega completely waste his turn? How are you doing? You got one, one bullet left, basically. Can you get behind? Not really, but you can at least finish off one of those lift legs. No, not him, not that. that. Yeah, that's a negative 24. It should be dead. <laughs> hmm. Now Zoe. She still has her shots here. Oh, but no one to shoot at it with. Well, she can just wind up, like, Zoe double wind up with her attack. Ahead. And she'll destroy the bot if it comes out, or the one that's already there. So what do we have left? Warden and Scarlet. He has a grenade, and we're not holding on to grenades for any reason at this point. So the grenade wouldn't quite do it, but if she takes her snapshot first... Then it should result in... Well, where do I have to aim you? There we go. One action left. I should get it. Just one more lift to go. Okay, and we interrupted them. Now this guy is directly in front of the other one. Let's get his attention. Nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> Make a mark. I have no idea what's in store for me. I'm not sure she's gonna make it. How many bots is this? I'm losing count. Four. <laughs> okay, they're gonna come out next turn. Well, Zoe has prepared to finish him off. Still wanna have that 100%. Should have done some damage to that battery. Okay. And she takes a second to reload. Just have everyone. Ah, uh, he's he's got to reload. Can he see past her? Yes, you can. Camera angle's a bit weird in this small corridor. My camera is stuck. This is a problem. 
Uh, I do tips. Yeah, I know we've got Tybalt left. Giving his weapon a quick top up. And there is a restart level option. I'm going to try saving loading. I'll be right back. I need to be able to see the level. Okay, I just saved loaded the game, and it looks like that has fixed our camera. <laughs> uh, no defenders right now. We're trying to get this last battery. We should have plenty of people to get this done. Ah, I reloaded. I was trying to fix the camera. He shouldn't have. Well, he's just going to have to hit someone who comes out of the door. We've got Scarlet and Marcus. I don't think she can tackle the uh, battery. Mm, this is going to be close. Unless... That doesn't end the turn if I napalm the battery. So that gives me 10 more damage on it. Maybe that will combine to stop it. Negative 13 is not correct. Let's see, oh, she only has one. No targets available. I'm going to have to use an assault to, uh... Okay. Finish that battery. Good. And that's it! The robotic tide has been stemmed! None of them got more than one. Three over there, three over here. What else is back there? Good, he got to do something. While on the run. And they're bunched up. Is that where the robots were and we just sent them in the lifts from back there? Oh, that's neat. We should have actually been able to see them if we could have uh, adjusted the angle down far enough. <laughs> okay, now Tybalt has them right where he wants them. Yep, if he sabotages the Omega sec, they're all gonna get hit. Hits two targets! Three, sir. Three. Okay, and then drop a decoy in front of him, so... Ooh. I want them to attack Omega Sec, because he can't attack now. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Oh. Ah, I forgot. I've been in that this whole time. Oops. I think I did that when I loaded and saved to try to fix it. Okay, what do we have down here? Plenty of people begging for a grenade. But for her part, invisibility first. Because she took a hit. Now Marcus, we don't have the napalm grenade. If I proximity grenade, they're all going to run away first. It's not bad attacks. Not good. No good flanks in here. What you got, Zoe? Yeah, none of these attacks are better than 50%. There, all I have to do is speak it and will it into being. Now, you all get hit. Scarlet could almost finish them off, but I feel like she's got her tackle ready. Ah, oh, she can't reach the ones on the far side. Well, the body switch is it going to end up being a waste because I just want them out of the picture right now. out the empty mag. Make sure we punch him. And instead of running around, we shoot him. The poison's gonna kill him at the start of the turn. 
And now everyone is over there. And we've got rockets. He's at full health and expendable. Enjoy rockets. Maximum carnage! Excellent. And I could hide behind him. No reason not to. Ooh. Absolutely brutal! That's not even the guy I shot. Ah, that was the poison activated. So these two left. Preparing an overload. Yeah, this is the first time we've actually gotten to see one of them act. Okay, that's not active yet. We've got a full turn to try to stop it. Phantom. Oh, look. You look nice and knife accessible. Agent bites the dust. And for the last piece, it is the robotic center. Give the last hit to hit. The challengers rack up two <laughs> Sensor row. bar. That should do it. Who else is here? Oh. And the cutting edge battle mechs are not enough to stop the contestants. Oh. Are you some multiple optional arenas? That man's got a contingency plan for anything. It's a little late for second thoughts. And I'm not having any. What I'm saying is we can make things easier for ourselves. Mm -hmm. That elevator over there, it'll take us to the personnel enhancement labs. And? And it's where they develop all the junk that turns the defenders and Ford's bodyguards into killing machines. Implants, drugs, experimental weapons. Stuff we can use against Ford. And make him taste his own medicine, huh? Exactly. So what do you say to a little detour? I'll lead the way if you're up for it. I know we could skip it. We've been crushing things. Oh? Oh? I forgot there was DLC for this game. You know, let me switch over to the Steam page and take a look at what it is before I start saying yes. I might have a whole bunch more stuff to play. Forgot about that. Okay, I took a look at it. So it turns out that this game had a, I think, free DLC that they sort of released after launch. Um, definitely when I played this for the first time, it wasn't out yet. But they integrated the DLC into the final chapter, pretty much exactly as the Phantom character explained it, where it looks like there's either five or six new maps that they put out that are essentially supposed to be like challenge levels where you get to use the entire team and they introduced new weapons, new enemies, stuff like that. So essentially they extended the tower level uh, essentially by like another whole area's worth or maybe two areas worth and they just extended out this final chapter a whole ton. So like, if, if you played the game or played the DLC later, it's essentially as though it took place at this moment. So in reality, it's perfectly into the great, integrated into the game if we just played it right now. And that makes perfect sense to me. we can probably do uh, one more arena in this chapter, and I guess that's going to make it a few episodes longer. But that's fine with me. <laughs> I'm the, My favorite parts are when we get to play with all of the characters. So this is... Uh, just extending the best part of the game for me. So the answer to this part is yes. No need for that. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, so how do we do? Ah, okay, so it's like one at a time. So augmentation chambers, I guess, will be the first area. Yep, there is no going back. Okay. I'll take a short break, 
I was expecting the finale here. I guess this is where the finale would have been. 